Hi everyone, welcome to the channel and thanks so much for watching. In this video, we'll be, uh, we'll be building the end walls and the roof. For the end walls, we chose to put the plywood sheathing on before the walls were raised and same for the, uh, the Tyvek home wrap and the windows just to keep things safe and not have to balance on a ladder while um, installing all that when the walls are raised. And for the roof, we chose to go with a cathedral ceiling so that we don't have any cross connection uh, between the rafters, just to keep the whole space livable. Um, and you'll see how we did that in the video. Enjoy. Hello and welcome to Build a Wall with Yelger. We have our lovely outdoor workshop here today to build a wall together. So let's get right to it and build a wall. So this is the point where things in our construction fell flat because just after raising a wall I uh, had an intense pain coming up in my leg which turned out to be a herniated disc. I was in bed in our little camper for the next two days or so and uh, it took us a, a few more days to find help so that we could continue the construction because we were in a time crunch with the, uh, the winter and snow coming to, um, to Horsefly and we had to get our cabin dried in. But our, um, our neighbors were fantastic. We found another neighbor that we could hire as a hired hand. And she uh, helped pretty much finish everything under my direction. All I had to do was walk around and tell her what to do and make sure everything went right. And that turned out to be uh, an amazing choice because things went forward uh, smoothly and a lot faster than I could have ever imagined. So from here on, we have less video recorded, uh, as, but we did take some photos. We were fully focused on getting the work done before the, the bad weather came. And uh, we also wanted to respect the privacy of our neighbor. But here Tanya is installing a, uh, a window in one of the end walls that she then raised together with our neighbors. And I did some light work that did not include any lifting. Next, I installed this ridge beam, followed by the 2x12 rafters. I chose 2x12 just for extra installation purpose. And as you can see, we have a lot of living space here because we omitted the, uh, the rafter ties. And then we followed that with building a scaffolding to make installing the roof easier. Followed by more plywood for the roof sheathing. This was done by Tanya and our neighbor, so kudos to them. And then came the day where I was actually able to do the roof sheathing myself. It was quite a stressful, hectic job because I had to climb onto the roof. I had a harness that was fully protected, but it was still um, new to me. And then I put a special roofing membrane on top of the roof, which made the roof uh, weather resistant. And that was at the end of one of our last days there. Very happy to reach that point because when I was flat on my back, I did not, I w didn't think I would, would be able to. And then the final day of work, it was actually already freezing overnight. 
I filled in these uh, gaps in the end walls with plywood sheathing as well as home wrap. The scaffolding made that job real easy. And that finished the end wall. How good does this feel, Yalger? Very, very good, Tanya. Very good. Next, I taped off all the seams of the home wrap just to make everything nice and weather tight. And of course, I did that in a cascading pattern going top to bottom just so everything was overlapping and there was no, uh, no chance of any water getting in through the, uh, the membrane at all. Over here I'm still stumbling because of the pain in my leg. I took everything very carefully and easy, but it was a slow healing process, which is still ongoing weeks later as we're in Vancouver. And then finally the day came where we put on the roof sheathing which was a, uh, a very long and heavy and tedious process. It looks quite easy in the time lapse here but let me tell you it was anything but that. Especially for the end part where I put on the, the ridge cap and I had to uh, detach myself from my, um, my safety harness. I definitely had sweaty palms there. So right here you can see that I was unsecured, but everything worked out and it looks amazing. And most of all, we are, except for the front door, tried in. <laughs> 